Hey guys, so after the towel re-release I've <coughs> decided to go in and get myself what everyone else has probably got by now. I've got my, picked myself up a Riptide, I was only able to get one today. And so I thought I'd have a bit of a rummage through the box, let you know what I thought about that, then go ahead and pull the model apart and find out where to put the magnets, what size magnets I think would be best in what places and why and then I'll show you the it all assembled and show you that, um, how effective the magnets are and anything that I would do differently um, after I've taught myself how to do it this time around. So yeah. Okay, so I'm back again. I've had a brief skim through the uh, instructables that have come with the kit and I've decided I'm going to attempt to put a magnet, I've put a hoop around the um, section whether or not the camera will focus the area that I'm going to put a magnet in and try and magnetise the jump pack purely for transport um, reasoning but then further on it all seems fairly straightforward I'm going to try try some reposing by trimming off the pegs that Games Workshop have included then the arms I've all got these nice little ports in each arm that should make adding magnets very simple um, then the shield has got this nice cupped piece that fits to the back of the shield so the magnet will sit in there quite nicely and then the armament there's uh, see if I can find one. there's a lot of housing that I'm thinking it's going to need two possibly three magnets inside there to keep it on and keep it stable but other than that it's all very straightforward it seems quite an easy kit to put together in my opinion compared to some others and it actually seems a lot sturdier than I thought it would be and then obviously you've got the drones, I will be magnetising them onto the bases but there's not really a lot to talk about that all the sub weapons actually I will be adding magnets for those as well um, just so I can swap them out as and when but that's nothing really different from doing a normal battle suit so I won't talk about adding those, uh, but I will show them magnetised at the end. So I'll get on to cutting and sticking, and the next time you see there should be some holes cut and some magnets stuffed in. Okay guys, it's the day after because it took a little longer than I thought it would. Um, and as you can see I've completely reposed... I'll take the camera. I've completely reposed the... Uh, battle suit by taking off there's some guide pegs that come on the ball joints at the hips and the ankles and, the, and, the, and I believe the shoulders although don't quote me on that I can't quite remember it was a while ago that I glued the arms on as you can see there's a magnet in the obvious ports on each hand that, um, pr predominantly I've been using these Ooh, focus yeah. Um, these are, I believe, five mil, um, five mil magnets by, t uh, I think they're five by five, if I'm honest. Yeah, probably something like that. Um, most of the time, well, in all in all times I've used those, they've been completely adequate. But also, you might notice, or um, well you might be able to spot on the end of this stick of magnets. If it will focus, I'll try and focus against the black background. I also used some one millimeter my 5mm magnets it, when the surface area wasn't thick enough for me to push through one of those larger magnets. Um, it's all pretty stable. I've used the flyer stalk, it comes with a very interestingly long flyer stalk, but I decided to cut a wooden base out to give it a little bit of counterbalance because the plastic wouldn't cut it. There will be slate and stuff added to this base to add even more weight to it. I've had to add a second flyer stalk, the, the battle suit will come off this, I'll take it off in a little while when I show how I've magnetised things but I've had to add a regular flyer stalk at an odd angle and it just fits into that shoe to stop the entire battle suit spinning around because it's on one of the ball and socket connections rather than just a pin so yep, that's not too bad, I just thought I'd go something else uh, i put on the extra armour on the shoulder and also this side is optional, this side, the extra piece there, the antenna, is not. 
but I decided to just add all the extras onto it. I haven't magnetised the uh, support systems or the standard battlesuit weapons. Although interestingly enough, the right the support the standard battlesuit weapons that come with the Riptide are a different model. So I think I'm going to magnetise those and try and make it so that they could mayhaps um, connect with my standard battlesuits as well. So I'll be getting onto those, but there's tons of videos out there about magnetising standard battlesuit weapons, so I'm not going to worry about it. I, for storage purposes, I have magnetised each half of the jump pack. Just one magnet in there, you will see there is a tiny hole just above the magnet. That's already there. That's part of how you attach the entire thing together, because, as you can see there, there's a pin hanging out. Now, it, I'm not sure if I can do this with one hand, it should clip on, but... You have to cut. You have to line up the pin, and then a little bit of pressure, and it will put on, and it sits safe and stable, and it won't come off. Then same on the other side. So yep, yeah, they, they they're sitting a little bit on a slant because, as I say, then the pins aren't in their sockets because it's a little bit awkward. I've also magnetised the shield, so that's once again self-explanatory. You just bore off the um, pre-designed pin and hole and whoop, there that is so moving around oh and there, there's the problem with it uh, moving around I think I may have to try and um, use a piece of green stuff to make a slot inside that toe just so that it will the second second fly base stem will fit inside the foot rather than on it so I will the both the weapons are metal are magnetised the exact same way. I use green stuff and super glue to hold my magnets faster. They're magnetised the exact same way, the only difference is, is the spacing between these two holes, but other than that they are identical. So two magnets in those two ports. If you want to be able to magnetise it to both arms, then put magnets in those two ports as well, but I'm not worried about that. So and also towards the front, a magnet there. I was quite pleasantly surpri surprised there is a bracing piece that connects both weapons to the arm. Now because it fits to both weapons I had to put a magnet in there. This very nearly holds one of these weapons to the arm on its own, which I was pleasantly surprised about, but not quite enough, hence the extra magnet for stability. This is a small cover plate that fits over... I'll just kind of pick one at the moment, I'm not sure if it's the right one right now. But it fits onto both of the weapons, so once again, magnet, simple as. So, yeah. I will try my best now to... Uh, nope, I'm going to have to put my camera down. I, I will just clip, put, clip the weapon onto the arm, and I will then show you it all clipped together. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. I'll just tr I'll try my best. So there, um, the bracing piece has a thicker end and a shorter end. The short end goes into the weapon. The thicker end goes onto the arm, which you would see why. Then just the cover plate to add. Oops. Just trying to line the the jet jump pack up for a better view. Okay, so this minus its support systems. This is my Riptide. Oh, uh, yep. So that is the Riptide. How I have decided to portray it. And as I say, I will be magnetising the additional support systems. The heavy burst rifle is already done. 
I've got the two um, shielded missile drones to build and I might magnetise them to the base I don't know, I might just glue them to the base because they are just singular models so with that I'm very happy with this model the instructions were very self-explanatory there wasn't really a lot of cleanup to do but that's to be expected with a new model and it looks like it's going to be a blast to paint so have fun, hope this was instructional for some people and uh, I think I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to look through the codex now and have a bit of a chat uh, about that in some more videos. Thanks.